Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for August 11th. August 11th is the 223rd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 224th in leap years with 142 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is carpe diem. Carpe diem comes to us from Latin, and of course the literal translation of it means seize the day. It means to make the most of the present time. And with that, we're going to start with the year 3114 BC, which marks the beginning of the Mesoamerican long count calendar. This was used by several pre-Columbian Mesoamerican civilizations, most notably the Mayans. On August 11, 1919, Germany's Weimar Constitution was signed into law. This is the birthday of American historian and author Alex Haley, born August 11, 1921. You may remember him as the author of Roots, which was adapted to a television miniseries back in the 70s. Alex Haley lived to the age of 70. On August 11, 1929, Babe Ruth became the first baseball player to hit 500 home runs in his career. He did that with a home run at League Park in Cleveland, Ohio. This is the birthday of American minister and television host Jerry Falwell, born August 11, 1933. He lived to the age of 73. The first civilian prisoners arrived at the federal prison on Alcatraz Island, August 11, 1934. August 11, 1942, actress Hedy Lamarr and composer George Antheil received a patent for a frequency hopping spread spectrum communication system that later became the basis for modern technologies in wireless headphones and Wi-Fi. Interesting. See, Hedy Lamarr was also a movie star, brilliant woman. This is the birthday of American journalist, author, and certified genius, Marilyn Voss Savant, born August 11, 1946. She was listed as having the highest recorded IQ in the Guinness Book of World Records. She writes an article called Ask Marilyn. On August 11, 1965, was the beginning of the Watts race riots in Los Angeles, California. And then on August 11, 1969, Apollo 11 astronauts were released from a three-week quarantine following their liftoff from the moon. Today's song is Breaking Up is Hard to Do by Neil Sedaka, number one, August 11, 1962. Written by Neil Sedaka and Howard Greenfield, he first recorded it in 1962 when it hit that golden number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 where it held for two weeks. A popular song, it also hit the top 40 for artists Lenny Welch, The Partridge Family, and Neil Sedaka's second recording of it in 1975. The Lenny Welch version, as well as Sedaka's 1975 version, are slower, more heartbroken torch song versions, very different from the version we celebrate today, which is a faster paced, more almost cheerful version. Breaking Up is Hard to Do by Neil Sedaka, number one, August 11th, 1962. Link in the description. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that is called, no really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Gitter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.